Hey everyone, it's Jim from Evolve Lab. Today's video, the topic is something that almost every Revit user out there loves to discuss. Shared coordinates. I'm just kidding, and hopefully you didn't click off the video already, but the truth is, most people don't like dealing with shared coordinates. And the reason for that is that they can be confusing and intimidating. But what I hope to do in this video is show just a very quick way to get coordinates set up in your model, understanding that just like most things in Revit, there are multiple ways to do things. And we'll post another video after this, showing a more complex workflow for a project that may require a shared site. But that being said, let's get into this example. The first thing we want to be sure of is that we have a basic understanding of Revit's coordinate system. So Revit uses two different types of coordinate system. There's the survey coordinate system, which provides a real-world context for the building model. The survey coordinate system utilizes the survey point, which we can turn on through visibility graphics. If I browse to site, turn that on, and then I have the option to turn on my survey point. When I do that, you'll notice this triangular blue point appears. And I've got a north, south, east, west, and elevation, which are all by default set to zero. Notice if I were to move the survey point, which is something I don't typically recommend, by the way. Zero, zero moves with it. If I unclip the survey point and move it, it will leave zero, zero where it was, and those coordinates will start to change. But I'm going to undo that. And I'm going to talk about the other coordinate system in Revit, which is the project coordinate system. The project coordinate system utilizes the project base point. It's used to place dimensions relative to the building. Uh, usually it's set in the lower left corner or somewhere that makes sense. And it's also used to set the true north from the project north if it happens to be different. Similar to the survey point, I can turn the project base point on under site and the project base point appears as a circular blue point. And if I select that one, notice that if I move the project base point, the values of those coordinates begin to change. The reason for that is because the coordinates set on the project base point are set in relation to where zero zero is located. And in this case, it's located at the survey point, which happens to be right on top of the internal origin. Now, the internal origin uh, in older versions of Revit was a mysterious point that really only existed in legend. You couldn't view it, um, and a lot of people didn't even know it existed other than when they're linking their models by origin. Uh, however, in Revit 2020, Autodesk gave us the option to turn on the visibility of this point in our visibility graphics. So I'm going to undo moving my project base point because in this example, I want everything sitting right on top of each other. My first recommendation when it comes to this process is to establish and follow a series of best practices. Using best practices and being consistent when it comes to shared coordinates on your projects will ultimately save you time and headaches down the road. And the first one is simple, communication. If you're working with consultants or just working internally with your project teams, it is very important to openly communicate how shared coordinates are set up on your project. The next best practice is to start your model on the origin. If you look at this example, you'll see that the origin is in the lower left corner. And that's my recommendation. Keep the origin in a place that makes sense, either the lower left corner or an intersection of grid lines. But if you're starting your model, I recommend not starting it clear out here in space. And the reason for that is the shared coordinates process can already be a little confusing. So let's keep things simple and straightforward so there's never any confusion as to where the origin exists. And while we're talking about the origin, by default, we're gonna link our models origin to origin. Now I know every project is different and sometimes you will have the need to link by shared coordinates. But for this example, we're going to go over just a very simple workflow. 
And most of the time, linking by origin is going to get you what you need. And the last thing I'll mention is if you don't have the coordinates information right at the beginning of the project, that's usually okay. As long as you're following best practices and you're setting your model up to be successful, typically you can set that coordinate information after your project has already gone underway. For this example, we'll assume we're working on a project which is stored on BIM 360. And we're also going to assume that we've been given a survey file or a civil base file from a civil engineer. So beginning in our building model, we want to export a CAD footprint, which can be sent to the civil engineer and placed in the civil base file. So I've set up a floor plan, uh, which is called CAD export for civil. And I'm going to go to file and export CAD formats DWG. From here, I can just hit next. I'm going to choose automatic short naming. I'm going to uncheck this box and I'm going to say OK. Now I will jump over to AutoCAD or Civil 3D and I will insert and attach the CAD export that I just created. There it is, CAD export for Civil. And I'll say open. All of this looks OK, and I'm going to manually place it on the site wherever it exists. I'm also going to give it the correct rotation on site. I'll just do 5 degrees. And now I'm going to specify a point which I know is where I have the origin in my Revit model. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a circle at this point. And that's just going to make it easier to find when I bring my civil base file back into Revit. And now I will save my file and return to Revit. Back in Revit, what I want to do is I want to set up a couple new views. One for Project North and one for True North. Okay, so for each of these views, I want to make sure that I have the North orientation set correctly. So if I'm in my Project North view, I want to make sure that in Properties, the orientation is set to Project North. And if I return to my True North view, I want to make sure that this one is set to True North. But I'm going to start in my Project North view, and I'm going to link in my Civil Base file. So I'll go to Insert and Link CAD, and I'm going to find my Civil Base file. You have the option to preserve the colors. I typically like to switch that to black and white because I think it's easier to read in Revit if you have the white background. Um, import units, we want to switch that to feet because if you leave it as auto detect, it typically comes in as inches instead of feet because of the civil units in CAD or Civil 3D. I'm going to uncheck correct lines that are slightly off axis and I will position it manually by center and you'll see why in a moment here. The rest of these look good. I'm going to say open. And now you can see that I am manually placing the civil base file within my Revit file. And what I want to do is I want to find that CAD export, which we just placed in AutoCAD, and I want to position it right on top of my model. Zooming in, you can see the circle that I drew in AutoCAD, which represents our project origin. And I'm going to move the CAD file from the center of that circle right on top of my project base point. Now you can see both of these files sitting right on top of each other, but the rotation is obviously still off. So because we're in our Project North view, I want to rotate the CAD file to match the Revit model. But before I do that, I need to remember this angle so that I can use it for reference later. So what I'll do is I'll draw a line from the project base point and I'll follow the orientation of the linked CAD file. And then I'm going to grab the CAD file and I'm going to rotate it. I'm going to change my center of rotation to the project base point. And I'll go from the orientation of the CAD file to the orientation of the Revit model. So now you can see my line still represents the original orientation of the CAD file but the CAD file itself has been rotated to match the Revit model. Now what I want to do is I want to set True North in this model. 
So I'm going to grab my line and I'm going to copy it. I will go over to my true north view and I'm going to paste a line to current view. And there's my line. Next we'll go up to the manage tab and under position I'm going to rotate true north. And Revit will automatically start the rotate command about the project base point. I'm going to rotate from vertical back to the original line. So we have now rotated our model and set true north in the project. Now if I toggle between my project north and my true north views, you can see the difference in orientation. So now we have set true north in our model, and the next step is to actually set our coordinates. So if I zoom down here into the corner by the origin, and I select our project base point, you'll see that the coordinates are still set to zero, but now we have a rotation to true north of 355 degrees. So how do we set the coordinates in this model? Well, since I have the civil base file linked in, and the coordinates are set in the civil base file, it's as simple as acquiring the coordinates from that file. So I will go to Manage and Coordinates, and I will acquire coordinates. Then I simply select my civil base file, and you'll notice a couple things have happened. It says the coordinates have been acquired from the civil base file, and you can also notice that the survey point is now missing from this location. And the reason for that is when we acquired the coordinates from the civil base file, Revit sent the survey point along with our 00, zero to match the origin in that civil base file. So if I do a zoom extends and I select our survey point, you can see it's all set to 00. zero. And if I zoom in and select my project base point, we now have real world coordinates set in this model. To test our coordinates, or just the next time you export a footprint for Civil, if you come to File, Export, CAD Formats, DWG, and we click on these three dots, and we come to Units and Coordinates, and I change my coordinate base from Internal Origin to Shared Coordinates. Say OK, and Next. I'm going to walk through the export process again using the same steps that we used before. Returning to our civil CAD base file, what I'm doing is I'm detaching the original CAD export for this exercise. And I'm going to attach our new export, which has been set up using shared coordinates. I'm going to say open. And here I'm going to uncheck specify on screen as an insertion point. This will ensure that the new export comes in at 000. Click OK. And there it is, our export drops right where it should, which means we are now sharing coordinates between the Revit model and the civil base file. I hope you found this video useful and I hope it will be useful on your projects. Stay tuned for some more of these videos. Feel free to visit our website, evolvelab.io. Have a great day.